Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I think we're good? Yeah. Good. Right. Good evening, Litchfield. Welcome to the August 4th, 2022 Litchfield Conservation Commission meeting. Call this meeting to order at 6.33 p.m. Roll call. Michael Croto, member. Here. Joan McGibbon, vice As chair. Present. Jay Brennan. Here. Vice uh, chair. Harry Manzigian, member. I am Francie, secretary. Here. Okay. We have missing tonight Matt Hoffman, who's on vacation. Um, Kevin Lynch and Luana Bomer. Okay. Roll call and appointment of alternates. We don't need to appoint any alternates. Public input related to non-agenda items, seeing nobody's in the audience. We will fly by public input on non-agenda items. New business, Google Sites review. I like it. Just what everybody's been waiting for. I'm going to give a five-minute overview on Google Sites and document storage and I don't, Harry, I don't think you're going to have to worry too, too much about this. I think it's probably for most of the people right here in this front row. Okay. Um, the short version is, is that over the past year or so, at least that I've been on the board, when we do agendas, people are creating the agenda in their own, um, in their own Google site. So it's kind of up there in La La Land. And so what I'm trying to do is develop our own, Google site and our own Google Drive where we can store our documents on there so they're not all, all over the place. Um, the planning board, I think, has a similar setup, and I know the zoning board does as well. Um, so to, to get to it, we're not going to do like a training, but I'll probably have to sit with you, Diane. But if you mm -hmm. like look at the screen up there, if you're logged into your litchfieldnh.gov account, and you go into Google and you see those little dots up there in the upper right hand corner. Yep. If you click on that and go down to drive, what that's gonna do is that's gonna open up your Google Drive. So anytime- you Sites too? I did a sites as well. I'm gonna talk about that okay. in a second. Um, so anytime anybody share, you created a document or someone shared a document with you, it's gonna be in, in your Google Drive right. to help corral the Conservation Commission documents. I worked with John Brunel, and John Brunel created a Litchfield Conservation Commission specific Google Drive. And to get with that to that, you go into the Google Drive and you hit on the shared with me button right there. Right there, that little okay. shared with me button. Mm -hmm. And then you see right here, Diane, where it says LCC share. That's the Litchfield Conservation Commission shared Google Drive, the green one right in the lower part of the screen right there. And then when you double click and open that up. No, go back and show me. I'm sorry. I, I didn't I see it. Yeah. Okay. So let me start that again. Yeah. I'm going to the three buttons. Yeah. I'm going to Google Drive. Yeah. Once I go into Google Drive, I go to Shared With Me yeah. okay. on the left-hand side. Okay. When I hit Shared With Me, these are all the documents that are shared with oh, you. Oh, there it is. Okay. And if you scroll down, you're going to see that green one that says LCC Share. Okay. That's the Litchfield Conservation Commission share drive. When did he set these but up? Is that a folder? Is that LCC share is a folder? It's a folder with folders underneath it. Okay. okay. When did he set that up? Um, several months ago. Okay. I think I already have it. Yeah, if you look, if you look around, you're gonna you're gonna see, you have to look for it. Yeah, I'll have to go look for it. And then um, but there's a reason why you won't have to look for it, and we'll talk about that in a second. Um and then in there, Diane and Joan, I, I set up folders. Okay. And if you just kind of, I don't know if you can read the screen, but the first folder is our agenda, our, all our agendas, then all our minutes, then our project reviews. So like if I click on project reviews, you'll notice I've got them sorted here by map and lot number. So Eversource was in here. So all the documents related to Eversource, all the documents related to MELS, all the wow. documents related to the gas station are are, are in there. And um, so if you just kind of, I'm not going to go through each one of those, but you can just kind of see project reviews are in there. Um, there's a maps folder in there. <coughs> Our bylaws are in there. Any correspondence that we get that we might want to save, we put in there. So that's, that's our, <laughs> that's our, that's our folder <laughs> setup. 
<clears throat> and so that's essentially it. So anytime we create an agenda or, you know, we're developing a document like the one we're recreating here or the NRPC, we're just going to put it in the right spot. That, that makes sense. And we'll who has see. access to put things in there? Everybody. And um, and if you if you've got a document that you want to put in there, you just don't know the right spot. Just let me know. And but I think they're pretty self-explanatory. But it's not public. It's not public domain. It's just I got to check that just to make sure because I can't. I'll have to log in from another Google account to see if I can get in there. But we definitely want to. So log when that you out. sent me the minutes and you sent me the um, you sent us all the minutes and you sent us all. Um, the documents that you wanted us to read and everything. When I clicked on those, those brought me right to that page that you were That's showing me part before. Two. That's okay, part two. all right, yeah. part two. So, all right. So part one is the Google Drive with the folders where everything is stored. Look. That's how you get into it. Okay. Part two is another Google technology called Google Sites. Sorry, Harry. And what Google Sites does is allows us to just like create a little program that accesses the data on the Google Drive. So to get in. But sites is by date. You have it set by I date. I have it set by date. Yeah. Yep. So to get so to So what the, happens within a month? By it's date, like it's me. Yeah. When, you, when you see it, it'll kind of click. Okay. So to get to Google Sites, I usually just send out the link and you click on it. But yep. to get to Google Sites, you go to the same little pull down menu. Yep. And down in here, you're going to see sites, right? right there and then when you click on sites you should see this one right here litchfield conservation commission google Can site see planning board i can't see the planning board one hmm, okay i probably don't have access to it i'm assuming you do this for the planning board the sites yeah. Yeah. And, see. and um let me just and so when you click on that, this is what you get. So instead of seeing all the folders like I had, I kind of like organize them so they're nice big buttons. You can like scroll through them on your phone. You're seeing the exact same thing that you're seeing in the Google Drive, but just... So go back up to the heading again. What's the heading say? Okay. So the heading says, okay. the Chill Conservation Commission. And then, so let me just frame this first. We've got the Google Drive where all our documents are stored. I created this Google site, this one Google site for the Conservation Commission. Then I create individual Google sites for each meeting that we have. And that's what you do for, okay. the, for the planning board. Yeah. And you see them up the top. See that? So this one says oh, okay. today. This is July's meeting. This is June's meeting. And so if I click on one of these guys, today's meeting, you see all the documents for today's meeting. And yep. all those documents are just on that Google Drive. And I'll have to show you. I'd like to try to get you to help like I'll be able update to once this. you, it's pretty once easy. you work on Google so, with me for a little bit, because I'm Word and yep. it, it's different. I know. From LCC share, you put them on the date. Are they are you just put you pull them into the August fourth? Yeah, so I I didn't want to get into yeah, well, you know how you John. edit this, but yeah. there's like an edit button down the bottom of the screen here, and this is what I'm gonna Try oh, to different on the plan. Yeah, there. Yeah, like, that's and then I can hit a little button here to add add content, and then I can point it to that file on the Google Drive. And it just yeah, do up. you have to? Just a quick question: When you do insert, do you have to go to LCC? You go to LCC Share. Yep. And pick your file, you insert it. Then do you have to go back and name LCC Share again under the nope. microscope? Not nope. the microscope, the magnifying glass. Nope, you don't have that's to do the that. Part I get stuck on. I end up, I end up clicking on this little guy right here. You see where my mouse is to yes. add content to it. What's a, a heading on that say? Um, content blocks. Content. And then I can put a thing in here. Let me go. You put the um, header. Yeah, and I'll do that. Content. I'm just gonna call it map. I'm gonna point it to the conservation map that we created last month. So I I just called it that map, and then I hit the plus button right here. Now check this out, Diane. I hit that plus button and I hit from drive. That's mm -hmm. with the Google drive. It brings it up over here, shared with me. I'm going to scroll to, till I see the green one. Got a lot of things shared with me. There it is. LCC share. <laughs> and I'm going to point it 
Mm -hmm. I know the map is under the map folder and then there's the conservation map and I hit the click on it. And I hit the insert button. Now there it if, pops in. If, if you wanted to do another thing, you have to, you can just scroll down to the green file. I've been just adding another under, one of those things again. I, I've been, under what is it? It's a content, content block. Content oh, block. Okay. Yeah. okay. So when we were talking about um, mm -hmm. adding the mute, the, um, the live broadcast of the meetings and popping them in there. That's where we do that. Too. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Because yeah, that's, a... that's, that's. And then when you're done, you just hit this publish button and it'll let you make sure that. You have to hit publish twice, don't you? Uh, publish think... and publish. Yeah. View there. publish. Yeah. And then there it is. And if I scroll down to the bottom, then you're going to see the map there it at is. the bottom of the screen. Okay. And that, you know, if you think about this like logically, we got to, we got a Google Drive there with all our documents in it, and I we just using Google Sites to say, all right, let's hit a button, create a little menu button on the screen, point it to the Google Doc, it pops up. Okay, but you have to go into Google when you make your agenda, then you have to get it over to LCC Share. Yeah, that's what I do. I put something, I make the agenda on LCC it. Share. Oh, you don't just do it on your. Google Drive. I do it on. I do it on. I go onto the Google Drive yeah. and I edit it. The town's Google Drive. The town. The, uh, well, he goes under his rate. on his. You do it on your computer, and then you have to move it over to LCC Share, right? I don't do that. I take the previous month's agenda on the on the Google on the Drive, the and then I copy it to the next month, and then I just edit the file in Google. Okay. So I'm not. I'm not doing. It. I'll I'll show you how yeah, to do this. Yeah, I need, need I help, need I'll some come in one day. And remedial. It's a, little bit, a little bit different. Okay. So it's just a different way. The, I think the bottom line is just trying to figure out a way to wrap our arms around all the documents that we get, and then putting them in one spot on the computer. And then we had at our last meeting we talked with Joan, and what we're still going to do is print out a copy and make sure a copy's in the filing cabinet just for backup purposes. Or, a copy of what, the agenda? Yeah, the agenda, the minutes, any decisions yeah, that we make, we'll put it in the minutes. folder. Because yeah. okay. who knows, if you know, we, I don't know if this will stick, you know, this might stick for a year and then okay. someone else comes drastic. in and has another idea. Or Google does something drastic. Right. Is it possible that Channel 32 lost our feed? What? What was the question? I just got a text that we were off the air. Oh, not a bad thing. Yeah, I don't know. I'm asking if it's back. Okay. That's nope. like frozen up. Yep. We're frozen. We're frozen. All right. Next. Any comments on that? No. Next on the agenda is Thereupon Milfoil. Okay. We, first of all, <clears throat> I pulled out the 2000. Uh, six survey and the 2012 survey. Our problem, or not our problem, but we have what they call either low water milfoil or they call it lowly milfoil. It's called both, which is here's the Latin name. Uh, so I um, talked to Amy Smokes, I hate to say her name, Amy at DES Wetlands. And today, saying that um, we're trying to address the problem. Did I not print out the other page? <coughs> he said, the state does not, still does not put any money towards um, native milfoil. It's been identified by the state as native milfoil. So we can apply to the Wetlands Bureau. We'd have to get a permit if we want to rake it and get it out, some of it out of there. Or is that who the Rachel was she referred to? What? Rachel. She referred to a Rachel in no, that correspondence. Um, no. Um, I talked to her today, too. Um, to Time out just a second. LCTV, are we good? Hi. You look a little flustered over there. I'm saying over. I'm not fully sure today. Uh, Do so you said they were off the air or something? Um, it said that he had music on. It was frozen. Then the, we had music again. And then the, now the music has stopped. And Jason looks like he's, he's delayed. Removing. removing. 
Right there. Uh, he moved, but what that move that you just saw was a move that he made earlier. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm just as confused as well. Yeah, let's keep going. So Amy Smagula at DES is would be the one we have to talk to about a permit to uh, do anything with the milk oil. And I believe she said today we could okay, we could rake it and dispose of it, but we're going to need a permit from the Wetlands Bureau. So I think the bottom line is Darapon has a milfoil problem. Native milfoil. Native milfoil problem. And the state won't put any of their money towards native milfoil. And the pond is, who owns the pond? The water is the property of the state. Darapon is the only great pond. It should be 12 acres, maybe a little lower now with the drought and with Penichuk. Um, the drawing water from the wells that are nearby. Um, but the water is a property of the state. Okay. So we probably, and there's <laughs> movement, people in town have wanted to use clean it. up okay. Dara Pond so that they can potentially use it for recreational purposes. And my opinion is we don't want to choke the thing out. Next thing you know, it's it turned, it was once a real pond and it turns into a Marsh. swamp land or bog or something like that so i i think what we'd have to do just to go through the the process is maybe meet with the recreation commission they own Darapon, or they are responsible for roy memorial park which touches Darapon, and get their opinion on it and then maybe we can petition the state for a permit to well i can call them back and Actually, Amy is the milfoil expert, and the other lady is the wetlands is the wetlands permitting. If I have those numbers, I can call her back and see how to get started on that. So a few years ago, we got a price to treat the milfoil, and we were just going to go ahead and do that. You need, yeah, and the, and whoever when the company treats it, they go and get the permit. Okay. Wasn't there something that? Was brought before the board of selectmen. They wanted more information. Oh, that's right. Okay. So, the, and they, I think what we need to do is figure out: Do we want to do anything with their pond? We want to do something, either rake it or. Well, it certainly sounds like the, the community does. I yeah. think that the we community as well. wants. Yeah. Mary, do something. Um. Yeah. Now, didn't wasn't there a water level problem with their pond? Some years ago, it was dropping and it's dropping because it's in the cone of influence of the Penichuk. But we're never going to be able to prove that unless you turn Penichuk wells off for two weeks, which is not going to happen. So, and that, that was said from the geologist. So, we're just going to have to live with it the way Penichuk pumps a little bit more in the summertime. Now they have a connection to the river. Okay. Um, no, it is a little lower because we're in a severe drought right now. Now, looking at Darrow Pond, there are no residents. There's maybe one residential household on the edge of the pond. No, there's about there's a few. four, three or four. Yeah, there, there plus the horse three or four. farm. Yeah, plus the horse farm. Um, there, Dara Pond is a kettle hole pond created by glaciers. There's no inlet or outlet, so it's spring fed. It um, is spring fed. Yeah, there's no inlet. There's no stream into it. There's no stream out of it. A kettle so, hole. Uh, kettle hole. Uh, kettle hole. Kettle hole. Okay. Created by glaciers. Um, well, you know, just looking at the edge of the <coughs> pond, it just looks what crappy. <laughs> my daughter, my granddaughter, was swimming the other day. She didn't come down with any rare disease. Um, it, yeah. It's very <laughs> yeah, yeah, two weeks like duck rash or anything. Yeah. Um, it it um the the milfoil is right up to the edge now. You know, in the shallow areas, it didn't wasn't like that twenty years ago. And we have a survey from two thousand twelve. Um, we used to, well, more like 30 years ago, it was used quite often by swimming. And We used to swim in it 20 years ago. Yeah. Absolutely. Now it's, you know, pretty weedy with the milk farm. 20, 25 so I think ago, we used to swim in it. The yeah. fastest thing to do would be to get the permit Not to try and rake it out and then and put something in the budget for recreation and conservation to maybe treat it with the, because they only can treat a third of the pond at a time. 
Um, I just got a notification from John Brunel that they're aware of the problem on channel 32 that we are being broadcast live on YouTube. So we're not losing the feed. Or there we go. Okay. So should we contact the Recreation Commission first? I think so. Joan, are you going to do that? Sure. Okay. No, but they're ultimately responsible for the pond. No, they're not. The state is responsible for the pond. The state would have to, if we treat it with chemicals, they the company that does it applies to the state okay. and gets a permit. Maybe I mischose my words. If the pond gets cleaned up and and the swimming allowed. Yeah, the swimming allowed now, yeah. It would be the recreation's responsibility to put whatever they have to put in there for... You're talking about floats and stuff. So. Yeah, whatever. There's never been those. What, what do you, <coughs> he's talking about like a swimming area roped for off. For recreation, it would, yeah. I can't see that they would do that. We had piers in there a long, long time ago, but they've been taken out. Um, I mean, it's not going to be a big draw, but it will be a draw for people like these kind of days when you want to cool off, and there are some people that want to swim in it. You can see what houses are around it there. I think that the next step, we'll just talk to recreation just to make sure we're, we've got a consensus. When do they meet? Do you know when they meet? They will be meeting for next us. week because – did you meet planning board this week? Yes. So they're the opposite Tuesday. They are Tuesday, okay. I'll get a hold of Steve. They do the what? The first and third the, Tuesday? No. Or the first and fourth? No, playing board's first and third. So they must be second and fourth. But I'll get a hold of Steve again and see if I can get on the agenda. I think that would be good. And at least if we decide to bring something for the budget in 2023, at least we can get a consensus, get that in front of the – yeah. Board of select and then and go from there. Uh, maybe we should, after we talk with the Recreation Commission, talk to that company again and just like update the pricing. Yeah, we'll we'll where, update, trying at. to update the pricing. Um, they changed their name, I believe, but sorry, um, I'll find I have fun number right here. Okay, anything else on that? Uh, Conservation Commission budget. So I was notified by Karen White a couple weeks ago that we've got to get our budget in. They they they, they put it in for us. It was the same as last year's budget. Oh, that? I'm gonna update that. Good. So are there any? Is there anything that we need? So I'm gonna add in there maintenance for town properties, gas, taking care of our equipment. We do have a line item for that. But it may not be enough. It wasn't enough. So okay. I'm gonna. So is there anything? I'm gonna. I'll figure that out, and add that in there, and then we'll go to the budget committee to try to defend it. Um, fishing derby. The fishing derby. We had 600 last year. So. Yeah, but that's probably gonna go up. Okay. To how much? <clears throat> I scratched uh, mm -hmm. a pad. Um, let's see. From six fifty probably up to about nine hundred. You think so? That much, yeah. huh? Yeah, because um, does that include the split? So we're going to split that with rec. I would. I'm assuming that. So it's a nine hundred a total yes. number or our number? Well, have you talked to the fish no, supply I, people? Pardon? Did you talk to the fish supply people at all to justify that number? Uh, no, I was going to talk to them next week because I. I thought I was going to do it this week, but I, things just didn't work out. Um, one problem has had occurred is the salt in the air um, apparently is, is backed out as far as supporting the fishing derby. Uh, I've made several, not to bring it up, but I've made several phone calls to him. I've sent him an email. Uh, I know that you we had sent him a card, right? We did. The card went yeah. to him. And the I know day that uh, Judy go Brennan him. sent him a letter, you thanking know, him. thanking him. And there has been absolutely no response. Okay, whatsoever. well, he's a busy man, so I'll, I'll stop by. All right. Well, talk to him. And, and I wouldn't say he's backed out without talking to him, though. Right. Well, I called the number and left them must have left four messages okay i'll call and i'll get in touch with him 
no response. Now, I know he was very unhappy with the fishing derby. We but were unorganized in some ways that where we hadn't been in that location before. We hadn't run one in years and years. There, well, I there know. Were some, in, in, there were some hiccups, but I think that we learned a ton and yeah. we were able to move forward. I think we need to check the location again, you know, maybe try and talk to Gene Dusham again, but that's for the future. Ooh, talk to Gene Dusham about I already location. talked to him again. It's absolute no. Absolute positive. It was a better location. Parker Park was a better location than I anticipated it being. It, it but as it grows, as more people, and yeah. there was a lot of people there. You're right. It's it's going to be tough to grow into I'll, that. I'll try and get a hold of Gene. You get in touch with Gene. I'll get in touch with Paul. Paul and Gene talk well, too. They do have beaver problems behind their house, um, as well. Yeah, well in which they're on I, that same. Jones, right there. When I talk to them, the biggest single problem is silt. Silt's filling in the pond, and the water level is just disappearing. He estimates within, he, I think he said about five years, that's going to turn into a swamp. Unless we get a lot of rain, that will flush it out. And uh, it no, he said happen. even if a lot of rain came in. Beaver dams aren't involved in that? Uh, no, because be. I asked him about that again. And he said that the silt's the biggest single problem. It's filling in. This is an SM keg you're talking no, about? No, no. Chase. Chase Brook. Uh, oh, Chase Brook. I'm sorry. Okay. Chase Brook feeding down into where the yes. pond is that we used to do. Yeah. That. So yeah. feel, believe me, feel free to talk to them and feel free to talk to. Uh, and what was the situation at London Dairy Fishing Game? They, uh, they have too many derbies. Uh, mm. So they weren't interested in us anymore. No. Either. So back to the budget. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, no, no. Yeah, my question so, is on the budget. Uh, now I got an email uh, from Troy, and there was budget information on it. Yeah, I think it might have been from Karen. Now is that our supposedly our budget for 2020? Yeah, because they just take it and populate what we had. It was very similar to what we had last year, but Jason wants to update that. Update it. So back to the fishing derby. So what did the fishing derby cost all in in 2022 this year? As far as it cost us 300 let's see, I think yeah, we spent about, was 350 yeah. was our share. And 50 bucks. Okay, so if I put in 600 for our share, which I think we put in last year, that should be close to covering us, our, our half, right? Yes, so, assuming that the... Right. And you don't have to go crazy with prizes because you can get donations from areas. Right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that because we had 600 in there last year, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. and we'll put that in this year. Right. Um, Joan, are there any other beside the maintenance which we'll we'll put in? Now maintenance on the new tractor too. We have to account yeah. for and gas. Yeah. Um, are, are there any other non things non related to maintenance that anybody can think of? Like what about projects? like education and stuff? Usually there's we have a, an education account. account online. There might be appraisals coming up, but appraisals probably would come out of the land money. We are not taking the fishing derby, and I will go on record saying out of the land money or the electric bill out of the land money. Yeah, I, I agree. Well, Jay's got an idea going back for them to try and get our our um, money that was talked about in the planning board. In the CIP, yeah. 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 Yep, try and get a, a warrant article. So. so I'll put something together and, okay. and send it around. I think the gas could be a little bit. You have like 50 bucks in there for gas. That gets you conquered and back like once. We have to. Well, and also the annual meeting, if the annual meeting goes live again by 2024, 2023, they should be back live. I don't know what's going to happen this November, but people need to go to that annual meeting. Right? It's, right. it's a good education. Yeah. Have you ever been? I have. It's, what it's, are things like signs fall under? I'm going to put that in under, under maintenance. maintenance. Okay. So it'll be like gas. Um, the DR mower getting that signage is a good one, and then we'll put signs in there. Yeah. You know, Our signs post, on those files look good, general stuff. The new ones look good. I mean, even if we add this a thousand dollars in there or something, that just to because we have no yeah. budget, 
at all. No kidding. None. But we so, do have to go fight for it. Yeah, we, can't we do. Just no show. Well, we do. Yeah. That's yeah. the only thing you can do. We no show. And we have to have an argument for why we're not taking out of the land money. I got to look at the but RSA. I think we have proposals that are out well, there well, now. We're we, we a lot more active looking for land. Right. And it was changed. The uh, Warren article was changed when, when Jason was here. Jason Hoke was here. So anything that is under 36A, he put allowed to come out of there. But we're not nickel and dime in that account. And I'll go to the budget committee and tell them that. All right. So I'll put that together and I'll send it around and and it's a sense. good a good thing to say too. We are a lot more active in trying to yeah, see. Yeah, we definitely are. Land. Yep, we've got some good stuff happening. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think we'll okay. be good. I think we'll, we'll we had go a drug, there with. But we're back. We'll go there with the ammo, and we'll state our case. And okay. Hopefully, they'll. Yep. That's all we can do. That's right. Or and then if we don't, we can always amend our budget at the deliberative session. Exactly. Bad idea. Ooh. Look at that. Ooh. Strategery. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna um, come sassy. You're gonna say, "Oh my God, you come so conservation people." <laughs> I like it. Growing up, <laughs> Bring all the surveys that say they. Was. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <clears throat> Next item: membership. If I ask Troy, and I know Troy is uh, tomorrow's his last day. Tomorrow's his last day. <laughs> to put something out on the sign, but I think we got to get the the word out on the streets to get a, a couple of more folks. Um, I did get a. <laughs> well, I was getting important messages. Now I'm, I'm not. Right. <laughs> okay. Don't complain about mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So membership. I hmm. got an email from Luana, and she wants to. She's resigned from the commission. I don't think it's any surprise her. Her schedule, her work tough, schedule, yeah. just does not jive with our meeting. She it's basically not even works. That. It's not. It's it's more health and all yeah, kinds of stuff. Got a lot so. of a lot of stuff going yeah. on. So right now she's going to um, resign from the commission. And she was an alternate. Correct? She was an alternate. Okay. Um, and I'll pass that on to the board of selectmen. You need to um, get something from her in writing, and has to get to Terry Briand also. Okay. Cal Clark. All right, so sold. I think we ought to talk about what we want for people to come in as. I mean, like, I would love to have someone with a hunting background to come in and um, and and to do some things, you know, that, that's an avid hunter that hunts in town and that can put stuff out of when the hunting seasons are and what hunting, some educational things of what hunting does for our community, what it does for our community, you know, it does against our community. It's an important think, thing in our in our town. It keeps herds down. It, it's it's something that conservation. It is part of conservation and preservation. I don't disagree. I think you just need people from different aspects. I uh, think we yeah. need another wetlands person I that really knows yep. wetlands violations and impacts of wetlands and stormwater and wetlands and yep. things like that, which it would be helpful. Um, so I. I'll get, we'll get it out on the board and we'll just at least out on the sign up there and we'll put it out on social media and we'll, I don't know if you know any folks that you think might fill a role. I've been talking to people. It's hard to get people to commit to a town board. Um, mm -hmm. very hard. Along the lines of membership. So we've had, I've been on the commission for a year and Andrew Thompson and Jack Curtin's name, I think, are still, still on, on as alternates. And I don't think they've ever been to a meeting that I've been to, and I've been here for over a year now. Um, Andrew's term may have, one of them re-upped, but they either need to resign or come to a meeting. One of the I think it was Andrew. <laughs> or, or maybe it was Jack. That had to check. I think it might have been Jack. Pat, yeah, Pat yeah. ran into whoever it was and signed yeah, up. Yeah. Can we make a mo I mean, they haven't been here for, can we make a motion to remove them from the, the commission and just get them off? Of, you know, no offense to them. They probably got other stuff going on. If they ever have time, you know, you can come back to the commission, but we just got to kind of like clean up the mailing list, yeah. clean up the, the website, you know, so yeah. they're on, their names are on the, the website and, you know, they're not active members. I think we also bring people in as alternates. 
and see whether or not they oh yeah it should definitely they start to work they, yeah and, and make them see whether or not they actually work and are they happy with it before we take a membership well, spot that people can in sit our... in forever I think there's a what if they have I think in the bylaws doesn't it say if they haven't three been to in three a row meetings mm -hmm. yeah. so we can make a motion to yeah. to just accept that as a resignation unless you wanted to I mean as a courtesy <coughs> reach out to them. Well, I've asked Matt Laporte when he was on the board to reach out to Jack. Jack still has some of our plexiglass that we paid for that needs to be fixed at Moore's Falls. And I don't know how to get in touch with Jack other than email or Andrew. Maybe, do you want to send them a courtesy email? And yeah. Say, We're going to be moving in September. And, and then hear from you. Yeah. If we don't message him on Facebook Messenger or something like that, they'll, they'll get and, back to me. And and their and their um address their email address okay both i would say aren't they won't you have their email address on yeah but i don't know if they ever look at their Personally. town email address. that's right, the problem right, right, right. all right so i'll do i'll do that we'll get we'll get the word out um right now we're a full board with no alternates or no we're not seven if Matt were a full time member, we we right. we only have like a full board with I get you. Yeah. So if you're out there, we really could use your help if you have any interest in the wildlife in our town, nature, wetlands. et cetera, wetlands. We really could use your help. And um we're not always the most fun, but we are very important in what we're doing to keep your town the way it is. So we can be more fun. <laughs> Maybe they can Splice that out, Diane, and put that on LCTV. I don't think the so. The commercial. <laughs> commercial, yeah, yeah. commercial. All right, old business. Land preservation strategy. That's the one that I was developing. Where is it? Harry, I'm going to pass this to you. Okay. Copy. Oh, I um, you. Has anybody read this? Yeah. I did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, are there any? I, mean, I put this together myself with based on information from, that we uh, that I got from meetings, uh, from the polls that we've had out there. I put this, you know, put it together myself, so I didn't have input from everybody. So my thought was, I'd take the first stab at it, and then get input from the commission, and then go from there. The intent of this. Is not to identify specific pieces of property, but it okay. is to provide a framework for how we might decide what properties to acquire versus what properties not to uh, acquire. And so that's really the intention here. So when we have to go to the budget committee or board of selectmen and they say, hey, do you have a strategy for this stuff? It's yep. right here. Yep. Um, any comments on it at all? There's one on page, um, the map, the map for ex existing town conservation lands. Um, Grassy Pond Management Area, on the big map, it says Litchfield School District, which is not correct. That big, I didn't bring my big map you gave us. Um, so it's around, it's around here, number 12, I put. Okay. And that's managed by state the nature conservancy and the town conservation commission okay and that <clears throat> the nuts and the bolts of this so if you just kind of like flip through it um we're at section three which is just like a, a brief map of key areas Section four was the results of the poll that was completed last year. Section five is based on research and talking with, with Joan and other conservation commissions on ways that we could acquire property, either through purchase or an easements or open space development that just kind of lists, you know, factual things. Um, and then section or section six outlines some of the funding sources that we might use to purchase land. And they range from the conservation fund that we have. The town has a farmland protection fund, get money through town meeting. 
I've been seeing a lot of towns have been getting bond appropriations. Mm -hmm. Instead of going to the CIP, I think they're getting bond appropriations to right. just have a pot of money available mm -hmm. just in case right. they need it versus the CIP would you get money through town meeting and would go into our account and just kind of sit there. The bond is almost like a home equity line. Actually, I yeah. think that's basically yeah. how it works. And then a, a number of grant programs. And then the last four pages kind of gets into the meat of it. Um, land preservation priorities, the one with all the, the little graphics there. Um, based on what we've been hearing at meetings and what the polls have said, these are the kind of key things that we want to focus on when buying land. Mm -hmm. Protecting our historic and natural resources, the wildlife, protecting the character of the town, and, and so on. Mm -hmm. um, so those are the boxes that would end up getting checked when we're looking at land. Uh, section eight would be up for debate, but geographic priority areas, you know, everything that I've been hearing is like priority number one. If, if two pieces of property come up at the same time and they're, you know, the same size and have the same characteristics, we would most likely prioritize ones on route three A over ones that are in other parts of town that aren't connected to any other conservation property. Um, and I think if you look at the bullets there, geographic priority areas, lands along the 3A corridor, anything that's farmland related might rank a little bit higher. Land along the Merrimack or other water bodies might rank a little higher. Lands adjacent to existing conservation lands and lands that are potentially large probably rank higher than lands that don't have those characteristics. Guys can, you know, what I'd like to do is just maybe go over this now and then at next meeting we can. We should add on this, uh, oh, this is geographic priority areas. Um, protect wildlife. We need to add in the um, wildlife action plan that the state has done. Okay, so that would go under the that. previous yeah. one. Right, under land priorities. So okay. Wildlife action plan. Life action plan. I'm going to put that under that protect wildlife habitat right, and then right reference right. the yeah. wildlife action plan. Right. The state document. And then can I just add some things? Okay, cool. And then on page uh, section six, there's also the natural resources conservation. NRCS is a federal program okay. that has money. I want to add that one in. NRCS. Running out of space on that page. I, yeah. Cut your fuck down. I'm trying <laughs> to make it, it anyway. like each section. I'm like hyper focused on making each section page. one page yeah. so you don't have to flip it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what was that? NRCS? N Correct. NRCS. Okay. And on uh, number four, can you just put the year that the poll was? Yep, we'll do. That was 2021. Right. Otherwise, I think it's ready to adopt just about. And then when you get to the last page, so this is I kind of went back and forth on this, and I'm just trying not to get too analytical about it because each piece of property that we look at has its own merit right. and you kind of look at it through its own lens. And, uh, but if someone came up to us and said, Hey, how do you prioritize these things? This section right here, section nine tries to do that. And, and what it's, what I'm trying to say here is that I got the three, three sec, three areas, three criteria, location, property characteristics and cost are kind of the, the drivers. And then I've got high value, medium value and low value. So under location, it's more advantageous to have property along 3A or along a river than it is to have a single piece of property that is you know, only connected to residential properties and there's no way to expand. So that's you know kind of the high versus low. And then on the property characteristics, I kind of went by like numbers. It's of high value if it has three of the more following criteria. 
It protects historic resources, natural resources, town character, waterways. If it checks three of the boxes, and that is more advantageous than something that only checks one. And then the cost is based on cost per acre, pretty much. Like we might get there might be a, <clears throat> a deal on a piece of property that might not check all the boxes up here, but might be good for us. So that's yeah. that's what I was trying to get out there. Um, you know. A, this has always been a really quality document. I, I think it's what we needed. This should all we get on the website and when we finalize it. <laughs> and then the last it's is the really recommendations. These read. are things I kind of just like pulled out of the air. But just like every year, maybe take a look at this and see if anything has changed. I'm on section 10. Mm -hmm. Get that property inventory done. I think it's done already, but it'd be nice for all of us to know. What, what the town owns and what the, who, what the state owns. Um, and then maybe at some meetings, we throw the map out on the table and just kind of stick dots on the map on, mm -hmm. on properties that if they came up for sale, if we had all the money in the world and everybody's <laughs> willing to sell, yeah. we you know, what, would we, what would be our number one, number two, and number three? Mm -hmm. Um Fully knowing that people can do what they want with their properties, you yeah. know, and to develop them as they please. But if if it came down the line, so that's what that, that holds. So, anybody else have any comments on that? For the people that are, I mean, most everybody's com computer literate literate these days. But it would be really nice to take when it's finalized, just stick a pin through it and put it on the bulletin board out there, and have some at the library also. Okay. Maybe even in the kiosk, because you've got that. Well, you've got that QR, the QR code. You've got the QR code at the. That's. Mm -hmm. I have to get a reader because I used the QR code when I went to the Morris Falls the other day, yeah, that would be and cool. everybody should have got a little note that I did. Yeah. Did everybody get a little note to do it? No. Okay. You should have. I did. I, you did. Yeah. I did too. Check your email. I got my own little, <coughs> but yeah, so maybe a QR I have to get that app and as soon as I forget my password. <laughs> All right. So that's it on the, uh, we'll, so we'll, we'll shoot. Mm -hmm. My okay. goal is to shoot for approval or adoption of this next month and okay. get this done yeah, and yeah. finished. I yeah. think with Jones edition, Publicized. I think yeah. it's a, it's a, Michael, nothing else from you. I, I mean, obviously, we have to put in, you know, how many acres and approximately how many properties. Yeah, you can help out with that, Joan. There's um, section two, I think it was, or a three on the map. Three. One I just, it's in. On the map, so we just yeah, put the, the acreage next to the first paragraph, the highlighted oh, ones. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. And then, Harry, if you could just breeze through this by next month and, you know, mm -hmm. be nice to see what you think. Um, on section two, goal six, I'm just reading down for it real quick. Six. It said create a town forest or a large expansion of open spaces. Isn't that one and the same? I was thinking off the top of my head that if we could ever stitch together enough property mm -hmm. that is a big enough area, you could actually call it a town forest yeah yep it is one and the same i think okay. how big is the birch property and what i'm thinking of is it's we have the state think. forest in litchfield and if we're going to sell this to the public um yeah and we've seen what the state can do when it wants to no i understand that but the state forest is available for recreation at the okay. current time yes yeah until no. they decide Until they put not. the woman's prison there. Right. That's true. <laughs> and Minimum <that> security. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. There was, oh, it was a thought at one, one time. So I was, <laughs> let me think about that, but kind well, of seems. Town forest, then you can have different um, criteria for town forest and large. No, I, I know what the purpose is and stuff, but. Well, it's just a million things in here. That's why we all are going to read it. Before. Well, we'll uh, we'll look at it next meeting and yeah. you know just yeah. decide. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. section three, you list key preserved properties, but you have the state forest with a little asterisk and Parker Park with a little asterisk. 
Hmm. Um, managed by others. Yeah, down the bottom. Managed by. Oh, okay. I, I couldn't find where that was. I was like, oh, got it. And so Grassy Pond will have to have an asterisk. On it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Managed by others. Where's Where's Matt's little? Um, Oh yeah, the little park. The um, uh, yeah, down neck across the street, number seven. nine, seven. seven. Bixby Meadow. Yep, seven. Bixby Meadow. Bixby Meadow. Okay. Airport. Airport mitigation land. What is that? It's just a big field. No, it's it's wooded lot that when they were building the extension runway, they were filling wetlands, so they had they were going to mitigate land in London for because they were filling wetlands. And London Dairy Conservation said, go talk to Litchfield because we were trying to make this connection forever with the State Forest to London Dairy's musquash. Well, so this finally gave us the connection between State Forest and London Dairy's musquash. Well, so there's about a thousand acres of public ownership in that block. If you take 10, 11 and what London Dairy has, it's pretty neat. Yeah. Probably the bears you should probably on the river access. I'm assuming you're talking about the new, you know, the one that John Bryant Rec access, Committee put yeah. in. That's actually on our land, but they own that, but they manage conservation, put it in, and, and we and, did, and recreation manages it. I probably thought we, we did that. so I thought we gave up that land. No, we did not give it up. It's, we bought, <coughs> we bought the land from the Smith family across the street, the brick house conservation. And Continental put that access in, and the recreation manages it. And we've added to it the last piece of land that we bought was, um, yeah, Kobe behind. land behind Kevin's house. Yeah, that adds <clears throat> on to that and, and hooks up to yeah. her. That's some, like 14 acres now. All right. Um, next so, on the agenda, I just say one more there? thing all the history on all these properties is in the file cabinet, each property has a folder. Mm. Good has to know. Yeah. Oh. I think I might you should access or asterisk the river access. Yeah, man. Because that's managed really by managed it. by somebody else. Yeah. Part of it is. That idea. Part of it is, yeah. Yeah. Part, um, yeah exactly. Part of although, it. actually, I know Jay has been a big part of keeping that cleaned up. No, I know. But yeah. well, it's not more so. And then the police access. keep it open and shut. Rec doesn't do that. Yeah, I'll put. River access. Yep. Okay. I agree. All right. So that's that. Next is the NRPC. Do you have any? Um, I have a meeting with um, Meal next Wednesday. I met with her last month. In so talking about the NRPC mm -hmm. report yeah. that they provided. And I saw that she had the executive summary to that, here it is. Um, things that we talked about changing, I didn't see changed in the July 27th draft, but I'll go over it. And if anybody has any changes, either send them to me or Camille. And How come yours says draft and mine doesn't? Yours says draft. It oh, it does. <laughs> see, I can't see anything anymore. <laughs> it's a mirror. <laughs> um, I, I'll send you a couple of comments. I mean, there's one like general comment that I have is that I wish in that executive summary that they would give us a couple of more recommendations on trends in conservation or yeah, what other conserva state. other things that other conservation commissions because a lot of the stuff doing we're doing that already. we're not doing yeah. in think things like that. Like I would like to know if I don't know, maybe Merrimack has a conservation commission that or even, has hikes or has you know, different programs going on that are, that we're not doing. Which is, I, I don't need to get into specifics, yeah. no, but, but it, it would be nice, nice when, just to compare and contrast what we're doing or what we're not doing. Maybe we're doing more. It was nice know. when that guy came, though, to our meeting mm -hmm. to kind of that was uh, the across oh, the yeah. river guy. Yeah. So it was nice when he came to our meeting, and I was, was thinking of how I wish I had more time that I could go to we other used, towns. We meetings. used to have regional Southern New Hampshire meetings of conservation. That probably should be in here as a suggestion that yeah, regional meetings. That would be amazing. Yeah. <coughs> you have Just the like planning. a brainstorm. Like, if yeah. we need help with one thing, we're really good at this. 
the yeah, tea yeah. that we could use, you know, mm -hmm. to just twice a year or times. three times a year. Instead of trying yeah. to make it to a meeting every month somewhere else. You know, maybe a, a, a goal is, is we, we got a big line with, with London areas. Maybe we go to one of their meetings yeah. you know, yeah. At, yeah. Yeah, yeah, once yeah. a year, just to kind of sync up. And say, Hello, Hudson's here. and Helen's are very active as well, because I have been in both of those towns frequently and, and the quality of some of the work they've done on their trails it is amazing. Or maybe, you know, designate one person to go to a London Journey meeting, one person yeah. to go to Hudson once in a while just yeah. to see yeah. how yep. the meetings are running. Yep. Have it a goal, you know, that, yep. that we're each going to attend a different town's meeting this year. Yeah. Um, over I the like next it. 12 months or something. Yeah. I like that too. So for the minute taker, Matt, goal this year for the Conservation Commission is to attend a Londonderry, a Hudson. I'll even throw Merrimack in because they're Merrimack, across the yeah. river. We've got a lot of lines that are properties that jive up. And what about another small town like us, uh, like maybe Pelham? Yeah. I like Auburn Pelham's trail. or something there. Auburn. Does, Auburn's Auburn's does Manchester have a Conservation Commission? Oh, God. They do. They do. It's going to be huge. Well, it's going to be more of an urban type of yeah situation than we are. No, I'm just curious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. They have the same problem we do about getting people to join up. Jeez, Londonderry, yeah. Hudson, Merrimack, Pelham, Auburn. That would be good. Cool. Um, and you think we, that recommendation should be that should be? I, in I think here. so. Yeah, I think I just too. like some. They don't need a lot of extra. Pages and, and even under education in this one, too. Yeah, that would, that would be great. In this, <laughs> I'm running out of space. I'm trying to do the one page, I'm out of another page. The, the smaller font and put draft right. on it. No, no, smaller smaller font. Font. <laughs> no smaller font. Please. Yeah, uh, I'll see if I could squeeze that under the recommendations okay. thing. Okay, because that might be something that we look at every year. Yeah, I just like I like having goals and things that we can accomplish. Yes. Check the box off. Yep. Um, so visit. Okay. All right. Good deal there. Any other comments on the NRPC? It looks like, Joan, you've got the ball. You're the project manager. Okay. I, I'm meeting with Camille next next week. Check. Yeah. That's not... And I'm going to send over some, like, the general comments. Good. Good. Uh, monthly property checks. So last month we talked about visiting the properties once a month. Um, anybody, Diane, do you have an update on Morris well, Falls? I, I said I would do Morris Falls. Harry said he would do Parker Park, um, although that's not really us, but I did Morris Falls. And um, so what I found down there was not a lot of trash. There was some trash. Um, there was one dog poop that wasn't picked up. I found a lot of bags of, of dog poop that was picked up and then was left by the signs. Um, and we really desperately need a garbage can there. Who's going to empty it? The same people that empty the ones that are on the... Uh, Kevin Brown doesn't want to do that. He doesn't want to be running all over town emptying garbage. He well, you know what? There's lots of things I do I don't want to do. But if it's gonna if it's gonna if it's gonna clean up an area with litter in town, then I think it's probably something that we should did be. They get, did they get another person? I think they did. They did. They definitely got they got voted through. I mean, they're up and around. We can't, well, we can't add to his. The board of selectmen can add to his job description, but we can't. Well, I know. I know it's something that once we get that gas station in place, if we ever do. Yeah, which we probably will. I hope so. That you know that that will be part of it. It was promised to us that they would take care of trash up there. But so maybe but they're not going to take our trash on our property. No, they did. They mm -hmm. did say that no, they, they would put a trash can over there and that they would empty it because we were talking on their about, property. Yeah. No, on our property because we were talking about it adding to our trash burden. That they were going to have a little store next door and they wanted to have that little path work. And in order to do that, we were saying that we wanted trash that they would be responsible for emptying. Yeah. I a member. Right. I, I remind yeah. them. Remind them. I will. But they were very I'll cooperative. Talk, and I'll talk to Kevin Brown and see what yeah. he thinks. If he comes back and says, no way, then 
Then we'll think of something else. Yeah. The, my only pick, concern about it. They do pick it, up other garbage cans that are along in town. along Abcar DNA. Yep, they definitely yeah. do, and that's dog poop oriented. Mm-hmm. But but I also found like some some um, paper cups and Dunkin' Donuts and that kind of stuff. That if we had a garbage can there, it would be more enticing to use it rather than to throw it back in your own car. I took everything. I stuck it back in my own car, and I just, and I got rid of it. And I'll be doing that monthly now because I committed to it. But it would be nice to have a garbage can. I know if there's a garbage can when I'm at a location that I will use it. Okay. We'll see what Kevin Brown says. All right. We're not going to be in Anybody there. else? Unless, can... unless there's a volunteer that wants to well, take a garbage can. Well, the trouble with the garbage can, I kind of agree with Diane, but the problem with the garbage can is that if the town... Well, you want to try and get the town to pick up the garbage can? Yeah, that's what we're talking yeah. about. Kevin Brown, okay. the road agent. Um, because other people just pull into that parking spot, you know, like UPS or you know, I, yeah, yeah, might just get full it, pretty quick. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure that that's possible. If but we, but if they're putting it in the trash can instead of throwing it out their window, we're still working on. I mean, there is trash in that parking lot. And you, unfortunately, you're damned if you're doing, you're damned if you're yeah, doing. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Right. You know, might um, be worth a try. And if we can do it, and it's, it doesn't overflow every single week. And if and if Kevin Brown wants to make, you know, the, make it go the down way. a little bit, down to where the the um. Well, we don't want Kevin to have to go into no, the woods to get it, but we no, can put it and, on the other side of the. And the, the problem is, if you can get people when they pick up the dog to carry it out with them and put it in the can. Yeah, that's and, another story. Well, it's all, it was all together. It was all together by one sign, and then it was all together by the, the kiosk. They pick up the dog poop, but they leave the bag Yeah, Because the they don't want to put it in their own car. Dispensary. And, and exactly. And I will tell you that I have the garbage bag and a can thing in my car that closes because I do that frequently, pick up trash and that yeah. kind of stuff. The guy across the street has a dog, and that's exactly – he does what you did. Mm-hmm. He has a, a five gallon pail or something that, but he picks it up and brings it to the you know the pail. Yeah, but if you've ever gotten into your car after forgetting that you had poop in a bag in your car, <laughs> on a hot yeah, day, it, it's kind of a gross thing. Oh, well, Jason, so, we'll talk to Kevin Brown. See yeah. where I go. Yeah, let's see. It, it, it would be nice. The, Just in the member um, <laughs> visits to to the. Then we'll remind Renee that he empty our garbage. That the trail looked good, that there was no obstructions, that um, although the grass was a little bit higher than probably Jay would like it, it certainly isn't anywhere near where it was when it used okay. to be. Long field grass going down to the entrance. Did you right walk down the to main. the river by any chance? I went all the way through it. Okay. Yep, I went all the way through it. And, and off to the river. didn't see any, because Matt, when Matt was here, every week I did not see any syringes. digging for stuff. Well, yeah, not so much think. syringes, just debris no well you know what i did find was like and what we always find down um right by by saint francis is the cups that worms come into from the fishermen and some wine um it wasn't huge it definitely has been being really well maintained by the people that use it which is what we really should be saying Mm. if one person made a a mess i don't know how long it's been since the last person cleaned it up it probably hasn't been you know it's probably been a while so all in all it's very good citizenship there. I was I was pretty pleased with it, but I'm always usually pretty That's pleased good. with Morris Falls. Um, I did little Morris Falls update. So I mowed out there a couple of weeks ago. I took the DR mower and I mowed I mowed the part that goes to the river. Mm-hmm. That little stretch that goes to the river because that gets really really yeah, overgrown. Yep. Yeah. From three A, you mean? Uh, no, From the St. by Saint Francis. Francis. When you go down the oh, St. Yeah. Francis and, and that little yeah. cut, cut off, off yeah. to the, the left, yeah. um, that got really, really overgrown. It was it grass like up past yeah. my waist. And um, I took a couple swipes with that with the with the DR mower. Eventually might get the tractor down there, just some down trees. So if we could just like pull them out, they're like falling into the path. Um, there's and then a couple, I, I, yeah. There's some there's some trees that were cut as well the pieces of that yep, we made can me maybe. a little nervous going you know when you go around where that creek is and yeah, then there's that you know, big ravine yep there's there's a tree that was cut there that's kind of it was kind of cut like on an angle and then right, it, it could the, be looked at a little bit but it, it's pretty sturdy I, I went over and wiggled it 
<laughs> I don't know what I would have done if it did. <laughs> I put the QR code in the kiosk. Mm -hmm. I was able to get my arm into one of the things. Okay. And, and then so if anybody sees a problem with it, it's there's a the form an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper that says report a problem. Mm -hmm. And then underneath it, it's I think I sent it out. But underneath it, it says, if you see an emergency, call the police. Here's the number. Mm -hmm. But if you see any maintenance issues with the property, just scan this. And they just hold their phone up to it and up pops a form. And they can just fill it, it out. It was wicked easy to use. And very easy to access, very easy to fill out on your phone. So you have to have a QR reader on your phone, right? Your, no, your, it is your, your, your camera. Your camera does it. You just open up your camera yeah. and point it out there and you're And you're the next good. thing it'll open up. Like a menu. And if they don't, if they can't figure that out, I left the email address to the Conservation Commission okay. underneath it. And what I thought about, Diane, after what you did, I had an epiphany is that Diane actually went and cleaned up down there and scanned the QR code and filled it out and said, I cleaned up. Yeah. So every time that, you know, I go down there or one of us mows or something like that, we can just like quickly scan the QR code and just write down that you mowed or you had this problem or something like that. And that keeps, it keeps a record. So Where does that go? It goes into our Google drive as an Excel spreadsheet and it has a line for each and every thing. Wow. Pretty fancy. Right. Technology. Wicked easy to fill out too. It's really not hard because I sat in my right. car afterwards and I did it going. It's five questions. We'll pull down there. <laughs> yeah, it was okay. easy. Thank you. Shout out to John Brunel for helping out with that. Yeah. Um, and then thank you, Harry, for the keys. So oh, finally so printed out maps that I, I created one like earlier this year for Morris Falls, and we'll put we'll hang those up in the key. We need to get those. Placards fixed, and John Curtin has the plexiglass. Yeah. Um, and I have the text and email from the Luana's son who did it. John, I couldn't hear you. What do you need? We, um, we have plexiglass to fix the um, placards, the wooden signs down there that got vandalized a couple of years ago. Three years. Mm -hmm. So we need to get those fixed somehow or another. Okay. I'll talk to Jack about that, and then we'll go from okay, there. And then good. I'm gonna, I'll hang these things up here. These are made of Tyvek, so they should be nice. uh, weatherproof. 1.1 miles. And you're going to get rid of all the other... I think I'll get rid of the other stuff. And, yeah. Or we just need to... Re There's a thing on ticks in there, which is fine, but the paper's from, like, yeah. 1894. <laughs> the, um, the, uh, the some stuff that's uh, the state had put up that's still good on the right hand side, I think. About yeah. shrublands, that's good, but uh, that stuff on the left needs to be fixed up. You're right. We'll clean it we up. Clean it up yeah. I mm -hmm. think in the fall we should give it a little paint job, too. Yeah, I can There's paint. one piece that's falling apart. We can maybe do that. Um, Musterfield, I went to the Musterfield, that looks that looks fine. Um, mowed down there a couple of weeks ago. Any other properties anybody has taken a look at? Um, I'll get out to Grassy Pond as soon as it's not 100 degrees out. <laughs> Harry, anything? And maybe next for next month, you can take a walk down. The, yeah. if, on a cool day, just take a walk down the Parker Park. I know that doesn't fall under us, but we can. It's good we'll, to look at it and see what's happening. It's kind of yeah. You go out at 6 o'clock in the morning, it's cool. That's about it. <laughs> now, is there anything that we can hang up in the kiosk for Parker Park? Sure. That I think so. I think we could put a map there, but we just want to tell the Recreation Commission because that kind of fall. The Parker Park actually falls underneath them, but the land around it, that's the conservation easement, actually falls underneath us. Okay. <clears throat> um, correspondence. We got any anything else on properties? Anybody? Correspondence. We got one thing, Diane. If you from the state, maybe you could paraphrase that. Um, we were Jay met with um, with Bill. Gaines. I can yeah. I can, hold on. I can talk about that. So we put in the the grant for property. The state called up on a Tuesday and said, "Can you meet on a Thursday?" I met the guy from the state down, and we visited the subject property yep 
and uh, showed him the whole layout of the property, actually walked on to the property. And um, we went through the application and he gave us some tips and tricks about how to submit a final application if we get uh, through the first cut. Mm -hmm. So essentially what happens is we filed an intent to file a grant form. Mm -hmm. They come down and look at the piece of property and they say, this is cool. If you pass that first test, you get to fill out the entire grant form to go for funds to purchase the lot. And so so we, were, we were late. We and were. We were late. And then when he came down, um, we passed that first. We just what got the notification. That that we big passed application the first. do. Uh, the first application has, remember when we did the Zoom um, for the last grant application? Have the mandatory Zoom meeting. It is a mandatory Zoom meeting that happens on August 17th. There's two. One's in person that we can send one person to, or there are there is a remote between five and nine that day, or five and eight that night. So the the, the in person one is August seventeenth, also. Yep, nine to noon, <clears throat> at um, Pembroke Road in Concord, at DNCR headquarters. And which D DNCR on one seventy two Pembroke Road in Concord. I forwarded that email okay. around. Yeah, I think I have. Yeah. <clears throat> and there's a Zoom. What time is the Zoom? Between 5 and 8 o'clock. Each one will be about two to three hours. Um, we'll we're cover. guaranteed one space for the in person one. Yeah, it's pretty involved. Yep, it was. I what I liked a few about when we Google. But what I liked about when we were doing on the Zoom is that you and I were talking as as we were watching. So that's that's something that it, you know you can do, um, which is kind of cool. Um, return the attached attendance form by Friday, August twelfth. Of who's okay. going to be 17th. there, who's going to do it. What day? Seventeenth. Uh, what day is it? Thursday. Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday the seventeenth. Close. Wants to go to that. Are you on vacation again? I wish. I think I'm watching dogs that week. Okay, <laughs> we'll get it covered. Okay. If I, I mean, I can always tune in. Okay. I'll send it's it out required. if people want to tune into it. But yeah. And yet, but the live one, you have to let them know by August 12th or live. I wouldn't do the live one. I got I got work to do. And it's a hassle. It's just very rare that all applications are required to be submitted as many people can zoom in as want. So it's saying here that the all applications are required to be submitted electronically. Have you done that? Good. No, have you, before the before the meeting on the seventeenth. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Well, no. The, well, please be aware that all applications are required to be submitted electronically through our new online grant application and management pla platform Amplifund. Um, following is on how to establish account. Please watch and have your account ready prior to August seventeenth. I'll check that out. Yep. You don't it, have to have the application. Uh, it's the not the full is, application. It's definitely not the full application. No, the but maybe we have to put the first application. We might have to. And you get a call bill if in. you have any questions. So it give you the okay. one to call. Okay. But this is this is great. We're on the step one accomplished. See what happens. Yep, that was really nice of you to be there immediately because I mean that was how quickly we had to get permission from the landowner immediately. Yes. <laughs> Jay had to be there immediately. <laughs> Okay, member input. Harry, do you have anything? <laughs> yeah, um, on the fishing derby, we looked at, Jeff and I looked at the calendar and we picked out May 6th. 6th? Six? 2023? Yeah. yeah. So we're going to base everything around that mm -hmm. and... Um, <laughs> get going on that all right um, greatly appreciate it that was worked out <clears throat> this year um i guess we i think we mentioned it to the recreation <coughs> committee and they didn't have any objections so now the only question is the nonsense of going through the board of selectmen do we have to do that again do you want police participation in fire yeah. mm. if Yes. Then yes. <coughs> it didn't take that much, did it? Oh, it did. 
What, what, what was the? Well, you had to go in there and you had to sit there and then you got all kinds of questions. And Maybe what we can do this year is just send them, talk to Steve Weber or Kevin Lynch and have them represent us. Yeah. Because you have a date now. Uh, you have the date. You've you gone through the whole thing. Based on that from last year, I'll go to the board of select. Oh, okay. okay. Um, anything else, Harry? Um, not really. Uh, oh, as far as now, I think, Diane, you said that the, the community garden, how many parking spots? I'm assuming that that'll be up and running by. <laughs> That's going to be my, talk about that. I'm going to talk about that in just a minute. Oh, all right. Fine. Yeah. Okay. No, that's it. Um, so the community garden, we're still at the lease. <laughs> at the lease. Um, the uh, um, Algerian <coughs> Trust sent the lease to the town. The town sent the lease to the lawyer. Um, the lawyer sent the lease back to Troy. Troy sent the lease back to Algerian. Um, there's still questions on the, the lease. Um, as far as one paragraph, I, I believe there's one remaining paragraph that's being um, that's being discussed now. And now Troy's gone. I had hoped that this would be Troy's final gift to me, but I don't think it's going to be. I'll talk to him about it on, uh, tomorrow. But um, so, what's the sticking point? It's a hazardous waste disposal um, paragraph that was in the trust, but. But our attorney wanted it removed, and I'm not sure why. We certainly won't be dumping hazardous waste in an organic garden. Mm -hmm. But we need to get that ironed out. So that verbiage needs to be ironed. It's very the, once you get legal and everything involved, it's it, it's not so just a handshake agreement. Talk to Troy before tomorrow just to figure out. All right, when he leaves, I, I'm gonna who's have to the... talk to him. I'm gonna have to talk to well, him. Well, yeah, and and then try to get permission to talk directly to our attorney. So. Because I don't think I want to be the one to do that. I think that isn't. We're not going to have a town administrator for a while. Okay, then I'll have to do that. <clears throat> I, I'll, I can handle that. All right, fine. But you need to get permission from somebody to right. talk to the to probably go to the selectmen and, and okay, say, "Here so we are." Or somebody. What does that mean? If you get that all, then split. there will be a parking lot in there. That's that. I hope I can still get the person that was going to do it this year to, to do it. Um, and there will probably be 10 to 12 spots in there that are in actually a packed down area. Okay. Um, and the reason for that parking lot is so that people don't park all over and pack down the land all the way around it so that it can all be usable. Mm -hmm. um, we're not going to need it all. So you will be able to park similar to how you parked this okay. year, next year, from what I, everything I saw. And then the way that the police did the walkway from the garden, they actually striped it out and it was really nicely done. So that would, that so works. Hopefully we can push to get that done at the end, by the end of this calendar year, it'd be nice to have that lease yeah. done set and yeah. done. Mm -hmm. like, right now we have a, an easement on that property and we can use that property per the, per the easement. This is just like but an extra I blanket want, on top of it. It, as a, it is, and it's because it's it's an official site now for us. It's not going to just be something that we walk onto and use. It's going to be something that we have a specific purpose for. I that agree. we're going to have a town garden. That it's we're going to have a play with the center garden. <laughs> that we're going to have picnic tables and activities, and hopefully, you know, the the um, the the kids bring over the pumpkin. Contest from GMS over there. I mean, we we have. I, I mean, my plan for that garden is like far-reaching all over the town. To, and and just if you need help, from, let me know. I like to well, shake people down. Uh, awesome, yeah. awesome. Because then that means that in September I can go and meet with the principal of the middle school. I can meet with the principal of the elementary school. But every time I get started up and get going and get people committed to doing things, then we reach another stumbling block. And then I'm I'm sitting back. Sounds and like we're close though. We're within like oh, one paragraph. I yeah. hope so. I think my blueberry bushes are dead. But okay. um, anything else, Diane? That's my only ache today. Uh, for me, 
think I have much. I've just been doing some maintenance on the properties. I've been mowing in front of next to the library, that strip. I noticed that. Yeah. Um, Morris Falls, and we've been getting some volunteer help up at Morris Falls with someone with a big tractor that's been helping mow the fields. Um, and the muster field is, as well, and I think everything's looking looking pretty good. Looks pretty gorgeous good. from the street, which um, is so I, pretty. It, it, I did get a message from Matt Hoffman, the, the new guy, and he's definitely into helping out with the maintenance as well, which will be, which will be good. Mm -hmm. Good. Anything, Joan? Nope. Michael? Nothing. <clears throat> All right. With that uh, approval of minutes for May, for. Um, I oh. did have, I, you sent some. Well, I sent corrections to. Um, you did. Matt. Saw them. And then I saw them in my not sent. But I hope they got sent. <laughs> okay. No, you sent them. And the it was just in the, um, set of the spelling stuff like fishing. You have should be in New Hampshire fishing game. Did like you that. here? This is um. Is that the this is the one I just yeah because <laughs> I wasn't authorized to read them in our little bloop thing. Huh? Um, in our draft of July meetings, it came up not not authorized, and so there's an uh, area uh, when that happens that you can say, "Please authorize right. me." Uh, yeah. I did okay. that, Matt immediately put me on and I, I got so that's today's copy needs to put the um header on each page the page number is good but we need a header i know it's not in the selecting minutes too it's good to have a header on just like page two the conservation no the chill conservation july 7th it needs to be on each Okay. You can do that under header. So for Matt, if you could put a header up the top of each page that says Litchfield Conservation. It has it at the bottom, so maybe just move it up to the top because when you're thumbing through, it's easier to see at the top. He has July 7th at the bottom, but just move the, that footer to the header. It would be good. He has it as a footer. And leave page number down there. Okay. I read through them, and I had a couple of comments, and those – uh, were changed. Anybody else have any comments? We'll just see if sure. I, th I, I think I just sent him one um, because I just read them. Um, just adding me as secretary under the officers. Okay. Um, uh, let me the see. only one I. The minutes are excellent. They're really good. excellent. He does a great job. Yeah. <laughs> no, I like you can actually read them. Yeah, you can read them. They're and readable. It is very. Yeah. yeah. Very brief and to the point. But interesting though. It's like okay. Yeah. They, they jog your memory of what happened, which is what I guess they're supposed to do. So, Let's see that one section. They're just so good. <clears throat> After that, <clears throat> are you good? Um, I'm just trying to. Did, did oh, you call if fishing game was changed? He had fishing game, and I can't find where it is. But I had sent him that, so it must have been changed. Okay, I'll check that out right here. Hmm. Oh, I never oh, so the that. fishing game would have been underneath the Eversource discussion. Yep. In our, yeah, we had a lot last time. Mm. But we had two groups in, too. Okay, he did fix Katie Wilkins' name. Okay, so that was just somewhere. Oh, yeah, it would have been under there. Uh, let's see. Natural Heritage Bureau. <clears throat> Not seeing fish and game. Oh, here it is, down here, under motion. Okay. With a stipulation of the conservation yep. of the finish report from non game in New Hampshire fishing. Okay. Good, good, good. That's I will good. entertain. A motion to approve the July 7, 2022 minutes with corrections. Mm -hmm. I second that. No, I may, I entertained the motion. Oh, you entertained the motion. Oh. Yeah. Um, so moved. Go ahead. Um, motion made by Joan. Seconded by Diane. Seconded by Diane. You got the next one. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed, all abstained. Aye. Motion passes four, one, two, three, four, zero, one. Back to mine. Hey. Can we make a motion with four, zero, one? 
Now those um, those should go in the hard copy in the town clerk's office and in the file cabinet as well. Hard copy. Okay. Okay. So we'll the, the, when we get the good ones. Right. Okay. So those are those are. No, we're going to have a couple changes. Okay. Um, yeah, and then just, we'll have a, a solid date approved, and then you can send them to me, and then I will put them in the okay the folder. We're going to go through that folder and make sure we're got them all. And maybe. the town clerk's got notebooks in her viewing room there. Okay, okay. so maybe we'll, t we'll take a talk about that next. The week. draft is supposed to be in there too, right? I wouldn't put the draft in there until they're approved. Okay. Have you been doing this um, previously? Till till what date? Till probably I don't know December of last year. All right, so make like maybe this year we we'll probably have to look at the minutes and make okay. sure they're all up to date. So what I've been doing is I've been printing out the minutes and the agenda, and this is what I'm hoping that you know Diane we can end up sticking in the in the folder. Yep, that would be good to put in her um, three hole binder in there too. Okay. Your town your town clerk viewing room. Okay. So when I get we're the learning final, every day. When I get the final ones from him, with it, it's got the date approved on this, yep. and the, the <clears throat> date moved up. We're good. Uh, next meeting is. Hold on. Turn my phone off. <laughs> September first. Yep. It is September first. We'll hold that right for now, and then we'll see later on in the month. If, if it's Labor Day weekend if people are splitting and we can't have a quorum. Um, but I will looks, be here. You will be here. I'll be here on September first. I'll, I'll be here I'm too. Away so. on September 2nd. I'll be here. Right. We're good there. Uh, next item is public input. Seeing there's no one here, we'll close public input. Uh, and so next, do we have any? We've got a couple things in non-public. Right. right? Uh, so I'll entertain a motion to go into non-public for RSA 91A colon 3D. I'll second it. Entertain. No, oh, I'm sorry. So moved. There we go. Uh, there you go. I'll second it. Motion by Michael. Second and by. I'll second it. Second it by, by Fine. Joan. Roll call vote. Mr. Croto. Aye. Ms. McGibbon. Aye. Ms. Plansky, aye. Mr. Manzikian, and I am also an I. So we are now going into non-public. At 7. At, yes, thank you very much. At 8 p.m. on the dot, we will only come out of non-public to adjourn the meeting. So with that, we're closing out the meeting. Have a good night, Litchfield. <laughs>